Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you another video tutorial on how you could fix IRQL not less or equal and DIS.sys error on Windows 10. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we're going to go to the start menu and type in memory diagnostic. Open the Windows memory diagnostic app and click on the restart now and check for problems. So once this memory diagnostic tool has been started, you, what you have to just simply do is just simply wait for it to finish. Once the test is complete, it will now open up and restart your computer and see if that would fix your problem. If it's still that doesn't fix your problem, we can go ahead and try another step. So go ahead and log in on your account. So if the first solution that didn't work for you, we can go ahead and go to the next solution. So go ahead and open up start menu and look for command prompt. Right click on the command prompt and click on the run as administrator. If this user account control dialog shows up, just simply hit the yes button and then type in chkdsk which means uh, check disk utility space F R. Just copy this command and type in your drive letter. Open up a file explorer to know your um, drive letter. So in my case, Windows is installed on the C drive. So I'm going to type in here C colon and hit the enter button. Hit the Y button on your computer if you're asked for this one and go ahead and restart your computer. Don't press any key if this prompt shows up and it will now begin scanning your drive for any errors. Once the scan and repair is complete, it will now again restart your computer. If in any case that still doesn't work for you, we can go ahead and try another step. So go ahead and go to the start menu and look for device manager. Open up the device manager app on Windows and expand the disk drives. Right click on your disk drive and hit on the properties button. Under the policies, uncheck the enable write caching on the device. So once done, go ahead and try restarting your computer and see if that would now fix the problem. Another step that we can do is go ahead and go to the start menu and type in command prompt. Right click the command prompt and run it as administrator. Once this user account control dialog shows up, just simply hit the yes button again. Type in sfc space for slash scan now. This is a system file checker tool which also checks for the integrity of the system files on Windows. What you have to just simply do is just simply wait for it to finish its, its verification process and it will now try to fix any corrupted files on your computer. And now that the Windows system file checker is complete, you can now see a notification here that says that Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So what you'll have to do now is just simply restart your computer and see if that would fix your problem. And if still that doesn't work for you, go ahead and go to the start menu and open up again command prompt. Right click again on the command prompt and run it as administrator. Hit the yes button and type in sigverif. It will open up this file signature verification app which will check if your drivers installed on your computer are signed. So basically drivers that are not signed could be causing this particular blue screen error on Windows. If all of your files and drivers are signed, it will show you this notification right here that your files have been scanned and verified as digitally signed. So if that shows up for you, just hit the OK button and then you're good to go. However, if you have unsigned drivers or files on your computer, you might have to uninstall them manually. So if all of those solutions still fails on your end, I'll be giving you this additional tip. So go ahead and download and install this app called Who Crashed. I'll be posting a link on the description. Go ahead and open up the app once you have finished installing it. So I have the app already installed on my computer. Just simply hit the yes button if you're asked to authenticate using the user account control dialog. Once the app has finished loading up on your computer, just simply hit the analyze button. And it will now scan and analyze all the dump files or crash dump files 
on your computer and scroll down to see the conclusion right here but since this computer has no fresh dumps as of the moment so it will not show you any conclusion however this tool comes in handy in a troubleshooting which particular driver or um, program is causing the blue screen on your computer so that's basically it thanks for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below and like this video and if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel so till then See you again on my next videos.